What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a wash and go. And I wanted to go back to a combo that I know worked for me, gave me moisture, gave me softness, gave me definition. And um, so I decided to use my Cur Obia Naturals Curl Enhancing Custard. I've used this a few times on my channel way back when. If you're new to my channel, you may not have seen it. If you're not new, then you know that I love this custard. I just haven't pulled it out for a while, so I decided to pull it out because I do have things I need to do this weekend and I want my hair to turn out right, okay? With that being said, one of the combos um, that I really liked Sorry guys, one of the combos that I really liked was using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner underneath the Curl Enhancing Custard. That made a very good duo, it didn't flake. And I used this as a leave-in. I think it is marketed as a rinse out, um, but you can actually leave it in as well and that's what I did. So um, this is beat up. This is the one that you saw in my stash video that was upside down. I finally got it used up. And if you can see, it is white. This is the one that I love. So I was like, okay, let me do the combo. So I went and got the other curl and shine conditioner. They're both the same off my shelf. This is the one that was sent to me by Shea Moisture when they sponsored a video. And I believe I said in that video that the color is different. This one is more yellow, if you can see. You can see that. Sorry guys, that's a more yellow tint and this is a white tint. Can you see the difference? Anyway, this is yellow, this is white. So I was like, okay, they had to change the ingredients. And I think I said that in the last one because someone asked me. The ingredients are very much different. This one that I loved, that was thick, that was hard to get out of the bottle, I had to have it upside down, was water, acetyl alcohol, um, capric triglycerides, coconut oil, and acetyl alcohol were the first five ingredients. On this new one, it's water, coconut oil, uh, shea butter, sterile alcohol, and glycerol caprolate are the first five ingredients. So coconut oil and shea butter are on the top. Now, with my hair, that can be a hit or miss, but even though the shea butter and coconut oil are, are um, two and three on this one, this one is a lot thinner consistency than this one was. So. I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use these two and we're gonna see if they act the same. If they don't act the same, then I don't know about this. I think one of you got in my comments recently and asked me what a good leave-in is, a real moisturizing one. And I said, this one is a really good one if you are still um, using Shea Moisture and you've never used it as a leave-in, try it as a leave-in, it works really well as a leave-in and it moisturizes the hair. However, I was speaking of this formula. So if you're listening, I was speaking of the first formula. So hopefully if you have this one, you're great. This one, we're getting ready to see. So I'm getting ready to see if I get the same results with this two as I got with the other ones. And I will link the video where I use these two together up here so we can compare the two. So I already have the leave-in in my hair. Uh, I put it in in the uh, shower. And I can already tell just by looking at my hair in this video as opposed to the other one that my hair looks different with just the leave-in in it. Those are my thoughts so far. So I'm going to open up my Curl Enhancing Custard. It looks like this. It's a... creamy like custard is kind of a mix between a gel and a cream if you're wondering but I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it to my hair because get a little bit I don't want my hair to dry out get a little bit and I'm gonna take it down the length of my hair get a little bit more on the ends 
Now these two before, uh-oh, these two before worked well together, so we'll, and I didn't get any flakes. I got a lot of shine, so we'll see if I get the same results with this one. So, so far it looks like it is defining. So this custard is really good, guys. If you have not tried Obia Naturals custard, I'd say give it a try because if you're one who wants a uh, pretty good hold but want better ingredients than what you can get with the wet line or eco then this may be an option the hold is going to be a little bit softer not as much crunch but it definitely will hold your it definitely will give you the definition and hold your curls for the length of time that you need them to you just won't get that same crunchy feel um so i'd say give it a try some of you said you have tried it and don't like it i don't understand but hey everything don't work for everybody so Anyway, um, so yeah, I just wanted to revisit this because I haven't revisited it for a while and I wanted to make sure that I get my hair to looking like I need it to. I didn't want to try experiment on any new products and have to go somewhere and then have to redo my hair because I'm already redoing my hair earlier than I wanted to because of my previous um, wash and go that just did not work. And that video should be coming up shortly if it's not already up. The other thing while I'm putting this in is I want to say to you guys, um, for those of you who have sent well wishes to AJ on his graduation, um, I appreciate it. I just wanted to come on and say I appreciate it. I did say this in a vlog that may or may not be up yet, but if you don't watch my vlogs, I definitely wanted to say it here too. We so much appreciate you guys as well wishes. Um, the fact that you watch the vlogs and you're engaged in his, um, you know, sporting career, his high school career, just graduating from high school and going off to college. So all the congratulations that we're getting on Instagram as well as here on YouTube um, I don't think I put anything on Facebook I'm not sure but if I did any of you who have said anything on Facebook I just want to say thank you so much I appreciate it I do show him the comments he appreciates it of course he's so busy he can't get on here all the time and say anything but I want to let you know that I appreciate you guys i also appreciate all the new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel um i do see you so thank you very much for taking the time to hit the subscribe button and yeah guys hopefully i can kind of once he's off to college i won't see him as much um probably won't get as much information because you know then he'll be thinking he's grown and won't be checking in as much but hopefully I can keep you abreast of what's going on in college and how his um, football career is going so yeah I just wanted to say that I also wanted to say um, let me add some water I also wanted to say there's been a lot of stuff going on that you guys I know have seen in the news um, with you know what I'm talking about I don't want to say it because of YouTube but if any of you have been affected by the senseless crimes and things like that that have been going on I just want to say that my prayers are with you I hope none of you have been affected um, and I know I don't talk a lot about what's going on in the world on this channel because I want this channel to kind of be an escape but I don't want you to to think or I don't want to come off like 
All I care about is hair. I don't ever talk about any world events or what's going on. I do care. Um, I do know what's going on. But again, we're hearing about it so much on the news and stuff like that. I just don't want to always bring it to the channel. But I do want to say at least that my prayers go out to the families. If any of you have been affected, my prayers go out to you. And we need to just stay prayed up. I don't know what's going on in this world, but we need to be praying for each other at all times. And um, we need to stay aware of our surroundings and what's going on so we can stay safe try our best to keep our families safe. So, that's that. Um, don't wanna belabor the point. <sighs> yeah, it's just senseless. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep on adding this custard to my hair and Um, guys, if you look at this custard, well, my hair, I believe my hair is thinning out a little bit as I get older, but when my hair used to be a little bit thicker, this custard would really plump my curls. Now it kind of, um, stretches them out kind of like the allocate lemongrass does. It gives me somewhat of a similar look but not as hard of a hold um so i'm noticing it that so <clears throat> see my hair is just that's just a long wavy curl and my hair used to um be a little different than that i don't know if it's length that's weighing the curl down now uh -oh. or what or maybe I'm using more product than I used back then. I haven't used this for a while, so I don't know. But anyway, um, I've just happened to notice that. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm going to keep doing this all around my head, and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, guys, this is my hair. Now, this side I just finished. This side I finished a while ago, and then it started looking frizzy. So then I went back in, tried to add some water, and raked back through it, and I made it worse. So this is why this side is really big. Um, I will say that my hair, when I was applying this, did not feel as moisturized with this as it did with this um, a few days ago. So I'm on the fence about this. So I will come back. I'm gonna dry my hair. I'll come back and let you guys see it. Maybe once it dries, it'll all shrink up the same. And um, yeah, we'll talk about these products then. But I'm hoping it turns out right because I don't, I can't redo my hair again. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, I am back and this is my hair straight from under the dryer. I have not fluffed it, stretched it or anything. And I'm not going to because I'm actually getting ready to go walk with my cousin. So I don't want to do a whole lot of stretching and then get out there and walk. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pull it back under my scarf as if I was going to bed. Um, and um, go ahead and walk and then I will stretch it in the morning and I'll come back and show you guys what it is looking like after it's been stretched still, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back and this is my hair and sorry it is not stretched as well as it could be because I am in a rush as I always am. It seems like now that it's summer, I have three open houses to go to today and we are supposed to be leaving here in two minutes. So, and then I got phone calls from my dad and everybody else wanting to talk so I just had to kind of stretch it really quick but it is stretched enough for you to see that I definitely still have definition do have a little bit of frizz but you guys know I like a lot a little bit of frizz mixed in with my definition um I got this piece tucked 
I always tell y'all I have a mohawk, so this long piece always grows longer than anybody, any other piece. So of course, I, so I don't have to try to cut it. I try to tuck it under there a little bit. But yeah, this is it using the Obia, here it is, using the Obia in Curl Enhancing Smoothie as my gel and using the Shea Moisture, my desk. Where's my? And using the Shea Moisture um, Coconut Curl and Shine Conditioner as my leave-in. Now, what I am gonna say is I do not think this is, is as moisturizing as the old formula that was more white. So I do not think it's, it's moisturizing my hair right now. It's soft, it does feel moisturized, but it doesn't um, feel as moisturized as it did the first time. And I'll link that video here. It still does not have the shine that it had the last time either, but it's gonna work for today. Um, so like I said, I did wanna get on here and just show you um, second day hair. Remember yesterday I did it. I didn't really stretch it, but I did wear it um, unstretched. So that would be day one. Today I stretched it a little bit. Today is going to be day two. I will try to come back tomorrow and show you day three results. I will try to, you know how it gets. I will try to um, show you day three results and we'll talk about it then, see how the moisture holds up. But this curl enhancing custard, guys, is so good. It defines um, it gives you the hold without the crunch crunch that you get with the other gels. It is vegan. It is pH, pH balance. It is natural. So if you are looking for those things, but you want great hold as well, then I would say pick this up and give it a try. No, this is not sponsored. I don't have any coupon code or anything for you guys for Obia Naturals. I just like the product, so I wanted to tell you about it. But yeah, guys, that's it. So I will try to come back on day three. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, I am getting on here really quick. This is third day hair and it is in the evening. It has been a long day with uh, baby showers, church and everything else. So, um, yeah, I almost forgot to get on here and show you my third day hair. So, excuse me, but I've already like taken off my um, earrings and things like that and I actually was laying down so I just got up and did like this a little bit. So my hair is not as neat as it was, but it still gives you an idea of what hair looks like on third day. So this is my third day hair using the Obia Naturals uh, Curl Enhancing Custard and the Shea Moisture Conditioner. As you can see, I still have a lot of definition. I do have some frizz. I will say that, and I said it earlier, that I felt like this did not have the same moisture as the original formula, and I stand by that. I still feel that way. I did have to uh, put a little moisture in my hair today. I probably could have got away without moisturizing it, but I didn't like the feel. I wanted it to feel a little bit more moisturized, especially since I was gonna be out um, in the sun. So I did take some of my Camille Rose Curl Up and scrunch it basically into my hair to give me a little bit of moisture. And that of course did uh, add a little bit, you know, more frizz to my hair, which I don't mind because I like big hair anyway. But yeah, this is it. So now my hair feels good. It feels soft. It feels moisturized and I could probably get um, a few more days out of this wash and go. However, I don't know. I may wash it tomorrow. I do have a family event to go to tomorrow. Nothing fancy, just dinner with the whole family since my niece is in town and my little um, great nephew. You guys probably remember me going to North Carolina to visit them in a vlog. They're here in town visiting, so we're all gonna do family dinner together, so they don't really care what my hair looks like. But it just depends on what the rest of my week looks like. So I'll either wash it tomorrow or I'll wash it 
um, the next day. So I know that I can get at least another one to two days out of it and then I will rewash it. But yeah, this is it guys. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, but full transparency, I will say that this can feel, depending on your climate, it can feel like it's a little bit drying. So make sure you do put something very moisturizing under it. That is why I use the thicker leave-ins like the Curl Love is really good. I No. Um, yeah, the Curl Love is good under this. The Shea Moisture um, is good under this. Um, did I use the Smoothie under this? I'm not sure if I used the... Uh, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie under this or not, but I know that this is good under it. The original formula, this is okay, but if you have another Shea Moisture conditioner that you really like, that you feel is really moisturizing, it probably will go under this. This has not flaked with anything that I've tried to with, and this also works well with its own leave-in. I believe it is called the uh, Moisture Cream or something like that. Um, but usually when I leave that leave in, I also will use either the twist butter or the heavy cream along with it to give it a little bit of extra moisture. So I do want to let you know that because this has water in it, olive oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil. Okay, so it has water and then a whole lot of oils. Then it goes into the carbomer and some hydrolyzed wheat protein, and then the vegetable glycerin is after that. So it's further down on the list. So there's not a whole lot in here that is going to be drawing moisture from the elements outside. So make sure your hair is moisturized really well with your deep conditioning process or your conditioning process or your leave-in process before you apply this. That's all I have to say. But other than that, you're gonna get your definition and um, hold with this um, curl enhancing custard. So yeah, that's it. This is day three, now back to the video. But yeah, guys, so that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.